that's the magic of this methodology. Do you know the the values led, the golden thread part of it? That is the absolute magic of it, and that's what connects everything else together. And I could just listen to those all of the time because I have absolutely no doubt that all of you guys are going to be out there delivering training that absolutely transforms lives. Um, and we're still relatively new. Do you know we're your seventh seventh cohort, so we're still relatively new. This is this is absolutely a mission that we are on. Um, and we're on a mission to ensure that training on frontline services, whether that's charity or statutory or who, whoever it is, we we are on a mission to transform the training sector so that values led training is leading the way because of the difference it makes. So I'm so really, really proud of every one of you because you've put your heart and your soul into this. Do you know, for some of you, you've had some real light bulb moments. We've had some tears. We've had some lifelong friendships made, you know, and every single cohort, every cohort, I get tearful, you know, and um, Becky's going to kind of go on to now kind of our first kind of face to face graduation. Um, and I know that there's some of you here um, tonight because you wanted to also kind of celebrate your um, your fellow delegates as well. But this, uh, it was absolutely amazing. Um, but there were a lot of tears there when, when people were um, kind of talking about kind of their journey. And when we were recognising people, there were a lot of happy tears. Um, and that doesn't come from doing an ordinary qualification. That comes because you guys absolutely put your heart and soul into it. So I thank you for trusting us and letting us to take you on this journey. Um, Liv, Wendy, Sally Ann, Nat, Ruth and Abby, do you know, I just want to say congratulations again on graduating and it was wonderful to meet you all on Friday and to be able to give you your certificates and do that graduation in person. Um, we've got photos for you but they won't be coming out until um, the end of next week we're looking at getting those so we'll send those across to you. Um, so congratulations to you guys who have already graduated. Now, uh, I've already said we can't do a face to face one again because I was crying after the first one. That's it's not allowed. <laughs> yeah, and I've already always, already said I don't pull rank very often, but <laughs> we are we are absolutely going to do a face to face <laughs> one again because those real life hugs were amazing. We had yeah. to give everybody hug warnings as they walked into the event to like, please tell us if you if you prefer not to hug because everywhere we looked, everybody was hugging. Um, and it was just, honestly, it was truly wonderful. It was really, really heartwarming. Um, and I think, in fact, if you just look at the faces in that picture, you can see how much of a um, great time was had. So, um, yeah, that was wonderful. So now let's get on to those of you that haven't graduated yet. You know, you've got your certificates in your hand. Hopefully you're drinking your wine out of your mum. <laughs> um, I think it's a bit presumptuous of us to do branded wine glasses. Um, although we have been told we have to do branded tissues now because of the tears. So, <laughs> um, but come on then, Becky, let's celebrate the guys that are here. Who's up first? Ah, oh, Helena, you were so missed on Friday. It would have been wonderful to meet you face to face. Um, but that doesn't take away from how absolutely proud of you we are. Um, first of all, my apologies that your graduation pack is literally still in the boot of my car. So I really do apologise, but you're only down the road. So I'm hoping that maybe we can sneak in a coffee so that I can give it to you personally rather than me posting it to you. Um, so Helena, huge congratulations. Um, your course um, using self-coaching to enhance peer discussion and reflective practice was fantastic. Your assignment was really, really insightful. It was clear how you understood the methodology and how you could connect it in your training. Um, and I just think that your delegate feedback just says it all really, Do you know, Helena was amazing, very natural and approachable and great at drawing people in and acknowledging their contributions. So um, absolutely congratulations. It is my great pleasure to award you the Training for Influence accreditation.
And at this point, I'm going to ask everybody <laughs> to unmute. <laughs> Whoops, and some claps. So come on, let, let's. Well let's, done, Helena. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done, Helena. Well done, babe. Well done. Brilliant. So let's let's have um, the screen share off for a moment and let's hand over to Helena so she can say a few words. <laughs> Oh, thanks everybody. And yeah, the getting that delegate feedback actually. And, and thank you. First of all, I've got to say thank you to everybody here. And thank you to those of you who in particular who supported with practices and came to, to the assessment as well. Um, it was really appreciated. And I'm I am absolutely gutted. I keep not, not trying to think about it because I was so gutted not to be well enough to come on Friday. Um because um, I did really want to be there. <laughs> um, but it was really nice uh, to get the email from Becky and see all the delegate feedback on that Friday morning. Uh, so when I was feeling really rubbish, that was definitely a really good boost. So um, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know what else to say. I didn't plan this very well. I didn't. I didn't plan my speech. But um, um, yeah, I'm just glad to be still be part of the community and hope I can still keep in touch with lots of you and work with you um, soon as well. Absolutely. Congratulations again, Helena. Uh, I'm just going to say on the um, for each one, maybe what we should do is let's do little emoji claps and like little silent claps um, just so we don't go around everybody. And then at the end, we'll stop and mute and we can all clap for everybody together um, because otherwise I'm going to take people off track and we'll be here here forever. So uh, we'll do that on the next one. So, Becky, whenever you're ready, you have the power. The next one. Um is Debbie unfortunately she's not here but obviously we'll still do it so she can watch the recording yeah absolutely so huge congratulations to Debbie Baker um Debbie congratulations um it fantastic you know you came came along from Hestia um from an organization that we work with and you're going to be delivering within Hestia um and I'm so thrilled that you're taking the methodology back and really kind of integrated it into everything that you're doing um, you tailored a course on co-production um, and the feedback was brilliant, you know, um, well done, Debbie, excellent work. I enjoyed the opportunity to discuss all of our experiences and co-production and what has worked well and what still needs developing. So really, really useful course there. So huge congratulations. It is my pleasure to award you the Training for Influence accreditation. Well done, Debbie. Ah, Lindsay. Um, and Lindsay Lawton, you're up next. Lindsay, I've known you for a good few years now, um, and I've watched you grow and develop over those years in a load of different roles. Um, in the Training for Influence course, it was an absolute pleasure to see you recognise your expertise, to see you recognise, you know, actually what you know, what's hidden deep down that you didn't even realise was, was there, you know, and just grow in confidence week upon week. Um, you have also delivered to Forte alongside kind of doing the t fry course as well. Um, and I've just seen you go from strength to strength and I'm so excited to be part of the next part of your journey. Um, your delegate feedback just outlined perfectly. Brilliant session, Lindsay. You created a calm, safe and supportive space for us all and helped us to connect with each other, with our whys and our values through the introductions. Your handout was excellent and I'll be referring back to it to learn more about compassion, fatigue and satisfaction and think about how I can take the learning into my day job. And that just connects exactly into your values top takeaway. Do you know, I'm really hoping that you live this as well. So I was really glad to hear you say that. So huge, huge congratulations, Lindsay. It is my absolute pleasure to um, award you the Training for Influence accreditation. Thank Everybody you. is whooping, I promise. Over to you now. <laughs> thank you so much. This is this course has been an absolute gift. I have to thank, thank you, Tammy, and also the whole TAFE team. It's been... I felt so supported through the whole process and everyone here as well in the community has been amazing and people being part of the assignment and 
uh, I really loved putting my assignment together I have to say I really enjoyed and I felt like a huge sense of achievement to write a course which meant so much to me as well and uh, you you're right in the in the um in the throughout the course I suddenly had an aha moment of like I actually have some expertise I can call myself an expert and and uh because I had a, a huge uh when I was uh, I was going to be doing a safeguarding course and I watched someone pr uh, the recording of someone else do it and I was just like oh, uh, how can I do this and then I suddenly sat there and went I can I like I've I've been in this sector for enough and and um and really connecting to the course content and the values and it just reminded me like wow actually like um it was recognizing that worth which um I hadn't really seen before I think so yeah this has been huge and I've loved every part of it and River's been alongside me he's even here tonight because <laughs> he won't go to sleep but um, lift him up been... so we can see him though lift him up so he can give us a wave and say congratulations my mates uh, say congratulations still some of her chocolates oh he, yeah he definitely will <laughs> um but thank you everybody i have ha really enjoyed this and I, i'm and the i'm so excited that there's actually a community to be part of going forwards as well because yeah that's been really really helpful um with the take the take courses i've already been part of so thank you fantastic congratulations again Lindsay. Ah, Tina, absolutely fantastic. Oh, Tina, your course got such amazing feedback and was such a, a course where you put so much of your kind of personal thoughts, experience and real kind of passion and belief into as well. Um, I just think as you've gone through this course, you know, the, the feedback that you've received time and time again has just got stronger and stronger. You clearly came with some strengths um, and those strengths you have just taken to the absolute next level. Um, so congratulations, you know, your delegate feedback says it all. Um, I really enjoyed your course. It's been a great refresher course for me and has made me realize that I don't know as much about domestic abuse as I thought I did. And I think that is really, really powerful because those, those perceptions and belief around domestic abuse are the ones that, that you challenged really well, but you did it in a really safe, engaging way. So you should be so proud of yourself. And it's a course that is really, really needed. Um, it's been a pleasure to have you um, on the course for the last 12 weeks, Tina really hoping that you that you stay involved um and that you stay very much part of t fry and tay and it is my great pleasure to award you the training for influence accreditation would be me not find the mute button <laughs> but thank you all it's been a great experience i didn't ever think i'll be doing a course whilst on maternity leave but i have no regrets um it has been really a great opportunity for me to learn about myself and to be able to network and the support that I have found in the group has been amazing. So thank you. I'm looking forward to continuing to connect with you. Thank you. Congratulations, Tina. And to be fair, juggling it while you're on maternity leave, you know, um, you, you deserve an extra congratulations for that. How old is your little one now? Five months and two weeks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yeah, I remember those days. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Tina. Ah, oh, Nicola, congratulations, congratulations. Um, it, you've been a joy to have on the course, you know, um, as you've gone through and we've got to know you more and more and more, it's, it's clear how that person-centred care is actually one of your strongest and deepest values you know everything that you talked about as you excuse me as you went through the course was all about listening to and considering other people and being really person-centered in everything that you do um and as you went through as you were talking more and more about that it really resonated with me from kind of we talk about the golden thread of being values um values led um, and the person centered part of it is absolutely the, the centric part of that. So, and that resonated with me because of how much you um, connected everything back to 
being person centered. So I thank you for your contribution to the course, for the way that you supported other people, but also it was really wonderful to watch you grow. Um, so the course that you delivered got amazing feedback, you know, well done. The inclusion of all in the session was great and it served a great example of what the topic was about. I enjoyed it, keep it up. So to be able to go into your assessment and really role model what you wanted other people to do as well. It is something that not everybody can do. So Nicola, you should be really, really proud of yourself. And I'm more than happy to award you the Training for Influence accreditation. Right. So, sorry, my, my screen did something funny there, as it generally does when I come on. But I am... Um, I've, I've prepared something, but it's a lot more than everyone else. So please do bear with me because I've got some notes. So, so I want to start off with um, what have I got to lose? That was my first response when t for i was recommended to me. I really wasn't sure what I was letting myself in for. But as with most things, I thought, let's go in with an open mind and see exactly what she's so excited about and I'm pleased to say I have found out exactly what the person who recommended the course to me loves about t for i so what exactly have I taken away from these uniquely empowering 12 weeks I have the confidence to position myself as an expert in the subject I facilitate Alongside T4I, I've been developing a course in learning disability and cerebral palsy, the course I was literally born to create. The perfect marriage between my lived and professional experience is taking those 12 weeks to reframe what should have been a perfectly obvious subject to deliver. Moving on to tailored, and I absolutely love the layering process. For me, it's been an absolute game changer. I now have absolutely no excuses to hoard reams of research or procrastinate on how to get started. This has consequently given me the gift of time, for which my fiance is also incredibly grateful for. I am, all my sessions are now, far more engaging, having discovered Slido, and learning how to embed videos. I'm far more conscious now of how my values guide what I do. I've encapsulated these in a visual form and how to communicate clearly. The irony there is I couldn't get the words communicate clearly out, could I? <laughs> to communicate clearly what I'm all about. They will be at the forefront of how I present myself and my courses moving forward. But undoubtedly, my biggest takeaway is that I've found my people. Tammy, Becky B and my awesome support group, there were no words. Everyone who came along to support my assessment, your generosity in the session and since hasn't gone unnoticed. My fabulous friend, Rachel, who set me on this path is incredible. Janine and Debbie, whose assessments I attended, I'm sorting out my diet now whilst looking for potential co-production partners. And just everyone, thank you for being you. For goodness sake, how am I supposed to follow that? <laughs> um, so can we please have tissues? <laughs> yes. um, I, I don't know what to say. Um, yeah. It's just been wonderful, um, been absolutely wonderful. Um, and I love the fact that you finished on them. Um, thank you for being you. Um, really, really love that. Um, congratulations, Nicola. You absolutely have found your people. Please don't be a stranger. Please stay in the community, be with us. You know, there's going to be so many more opportunities. This really is just the beginning. Um, and it's an absolute privilege to help you on your journey. Thank you so much. Thank you. No one unfortunately can't make it today, but obviously we will still award her her certificate.
Yes, of course. So, Joe, we're, we're sorry that you can't be here. Um, you, you are absolutely missed, um, but we are really grateful that you've been part of the cohort for the last 12 weeks. Um, the course that you developed was Boundaries, and that was great because you, you talked about the importance of boundaries at so many different points as we went through the 12 weeks. Um, and it was really interesting because when your, when your delegates fed back, you were really worried about the technical issues. They didn't care about that because actually what you did was really deliver an empowering, enthusiastic and passionate session. Um, you did so brilliantly, uh, you know, um, as they've said there, you didn't seem flustered at all. You covered all of the objectives and people are asking to do further courses with you. It doesn't get better than that. You should be really, really proud of yourself, Joe. So I'm absolutely thrilled to um, award you the Training for Influence accreditation. Congratulations. Ah, oh, Janine, Janine, congratulations, congratulations. It's so wonderful that you are here. Um, you, your course, it, you know, there were so many times when you talked about kind of being, being concerned, you know, about imposter syndrome and about actually, do you really want to talk about this? And should you be doing the course? And, you know, you had so many doubts as you went through. And what was really great is, you engaged continuously, you know, you engaged and you inspired people to the extent that I remember the session where you said, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that course anymore. And everybody was like, hang on a minute, we're waiting for this course. We've been, you know, you've worked us up to it now. You can't, you can't not deliver it. Um, and your feedback was brilliant. You know, I have had people message me to say that they've changed their diet based on kind of what they learned in your one hour session. So if you can do that in one hour, you know, what can you do in more time than that? Your delegate feedback was fantastic. It said, Janine, you were awesome. You were clear. Everything's made so much sense and your passion for the subject shone through. Can't wait to share this with my colleagues and service users. Uh, again, if you can do that in an hour, do you know, I really hope one of the biggest things that you've taken away from this course is to have some real confidence and belief in yourself and the things that you know and you have the experience of making a difference. Um, so I'm absolutely thrilled to award you with the Training for Influence accreditation. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know what? I'm, I'm laughing, purely because I do remember um, after the first session, and Becky knows what I'm going to say, that I was going to message her and I literally was getting the chat box up to say I can't do this I'm really sorry for wasting time um but I'm really glad that I stuck with it and I didn't think that I'd be talking about food when I applied um but it was great and to be honest I think finding a community where everybody genuinely celebrates each other is amazing I've never come across a community or a group of people like this where everybody is rooting for everybody and everybody wants everyone to do well I think it's absolutely amazing and I think that in itself um is so motivating to continue so just big thank you to everyone for being so supportive it's just been amazing uh, well you're very welcome and um yeah I I'm really proud of the community because the people that are in this community are exactly the people that you describe um, I had somebody, just as an aside, I had somebody question today why we do application only for the train the trainer course when lots of qualifications you can just sign up for. And I found myself justifying the fact that because we want people whose values align with ours um, and it's very much coming from that values led, inclusive, celebrating each other perspective. And so to hear you say that after I really kind of had to go, had to really really go to town to explain it um the the financial benefits for me will never outweigh the value benefits just won't happen so um so yeah perfect timing for that um feedback for me um, and it has been an absolute joy and I really hope that you stay really engaged and stay part of this community because like people have said you know hopefully we're your people
Ah, uh, Lindsay, I've been really excited to do this one, Lindsay, because right at the beginning, I remember you stopping at the end and saying to me, I really don't know if I can do this, do you know? And there were a good few people that had wobbles, but you had a big wobble. Um, and we we really, we asked you to take, to have some trust in us. We asked you to put your faith in us. Um, and I think because somebody referred you who knew you really well, do you know, you gave us another week. And by that next week, oh my gosh, did we start seeing you fly. It has been amazing, utterly amazing to see the transformation that you have undertaken as you've gone through this course. Not only the transformation um, from a training perspective, but also from a self-belief um, perspective and recognising what you are absolutely capable of. Um, I have loved watching you grow. I have loved your sense of humour. I've loved how you will absolutely go out of your way to help other people. But most of all, I've loved the fact that by the end, you were talking so positively about yourself and the course that you had developed and were about to deliver. Um, you were talking, although you're ner you were nervous, you were so positive as well. And seeing that was wonderful. The Your course was brilliant, you know, um, I, you knew that I was looking forward to it um, and I learned a lot of stuff that I didn't know previously and absolutely is in a perfect position to help me within my kind of family arrangements at the moment. Um, your feedback was exceptional. I just really, really hope that you, that you keep that self-belief now and I want you to stay an active part of the community so that if you start to wobble again, we're going to be there to prop you back up because you are amazing and you're set to do amazing things. To get this delegate feedback, you know, you should be really proud. I loved hearing about Lindsay's lived experience and how she added depth to, to the training through that. So, you know, really, really wonderful. Um, I'm so pleased to award you your third version, your fourth version, sorry, of the Training for Influence Accreditation. As always, tech's not working. There we go. <laughs> oh, wow. You actually made me like, like empty water and I won't do that. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Like, um, I don't know, everyone here has, has had um, experience delivering courses and facilitating courses and stuff. And I just thought I was completely and utterly out of my depth. And I think I hounded um, Becky Becky Brick, Brick, well, sorry, <laughs> a million times, and Becky Dawson, who I work with and is a very good friend of mine. I always think um, I really didn't feel like I was, uh, I thought I was out of my depth so many times. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm wearing this get up. Um, <laughs> I'm wearing this get up because I've, you know, I have got ADHD and I have got PTSD. And many a times in my life, I got this close to graduating and um, I just got to the end of things and walked away and didn't get to that point. So it left me with a jack of all trades with no, with nothing to show. So um, today, uh, well, a few months back, I um, got my teaching award um, and, I, and I completed that. And today I, I'm here with you guys celebrating and um, you guys are my people. And I said that from day one and I feel it um, every time. And the community is amazing. I absolutely love the community and there's no way am I going anywhere. Um, and I hope to be able to um, help and support anyone else that comes in, especially if they start to panic like me. Um, I wanna be able to be there to pick them up and tell them it's, it's okay. So um, thank you. No, thank you. And um, we will certainly, you know, I, if you remember right back to when you started, um, there were a few people that we tagged and connected you with because there's always at least one and usually more than one that is really, really kind of wobbling at the start. And so um, we will we will um, certainly make use of that offer, Lindsay, because I think any new person coming onto the cohort will be really really lucky to have you kind of in their corner saying no you can do this you can do this um and you can do this and you did do this do you know absolutely fantastic 
So congratulations thank you so again. Much. Thank you. Ah, uh, Robert, Robert, uh, so, so proud of you, Robert. You pushed yourself out of your comfort zone and it was really, really brilliant to see. Um, as, you, as you came through the course, um, we started hearing your voice more and more. And I loved that, you know, I loved the feedback that, that you gave about actually what you needed from the course and what you felt and how that inclusivity and the... Um, the rest of the group that you were spending your time with was making such a difference um, to kind of you personally, but also to the course that you were developing as well and the perspective that you were developing it from. I loved that you delivered your first training whilst you were doing T4I and your mentor was able to kind of give you a little bit of support and assistance alongside that. And again, as you have kind of moved through the course and learned the methodology, it's been really wonderful to see you just put that framework into place around something that you are so, so passionate about and are the absolute right person to be um, delivering training in. So um, I couldn't be prouder of the journey that you've been on. Um, and I know that as you've been on this journey, you started it kind of within one organisation, you're finishing it within another organisation. And as an individual, um, you know, your life has changed and you are growing. And I just hope that this has given you the confidence and experience and framework and skills and knowledge to go on continually delivering courses, because when you deliver training, it, it really makes a difference. So you can see here straight off, you know, your delegate feedback. Robert, this was brilliant. I think you're very innovative um, and I want you to know that um, today's session will have a positive impact. Um, and that was apparent by our engagement or otherwise. I learned a lot and have a lot to digest and think about in the future. You should give yourself a pat on the back and be very, very, uh, sorry, a very well-led training session. Um, congratulations. So huge, huge congratulations, Robert. Um, I'm really, really pleased to award you the Training for Influence accreditation. Thank you. Thank you, Damien. Everyone, I think so, this was uh, one of the little time that uh, I found myself uh, wanting to learn from someone else. So. And that's because of who I am or what I perceive on people. I usually tend to get distracted tend to just uh, to get away. And being this community where uh, I didn't find, I usually find people where I could feel safe, but not an entire community. Being this community where I could feel safe has uh, just changed my learning experience and uh, got me as well uh, the willingness to, to create experience for people. So thank you. Thank you, because uh, I knew, like uh, I, I knew by myself uh, that it was possible, but I didn't have any evidence till today, and now I know that uh, it's possible to be a community. Uh, so thank yeah. you. It, yeah, Robert, it, it it means so much. I know I messaged you separately, but it means so much to kind of to hear you say that because that is exactly exactly what we're trying to build. Um, because we we believe that that's what will make the difference. So I'm so pleased that you're part of it. Thank you. Uh, Nicola, congratulations, Nicola. You're, as you've gone through this course, it has been wonderful to hear your voice more and more. I know that sounds quite ironic since your course was active listening skills, um, but right from the beginning, you role modelled those active listening skills. Um, and as we moved through the course, you became more and more vocal, but at points where you would just kind of swoop in and offer some support, some guidance, some suggestion. You were always there for your fellow delegates as you were going through your own learning experience as well. I've had so many people kind of feedback and just say, you know, um, this cohort, you know, the delegates within this cohort, the people within my support group have made such a difference. And Nicola, you've, you've been really 
um, and act. You've played a really active part in that. Um, active listening skills. Um, it, it's quite interesting because I thought, oh, maybe I, you know, I think I know a bit about this. Um, and yeah, I, I think I did know a bit about this, but not as much as you were willing to teach me. And you really came from different perspectives and kind of made us um, fit and consciously consider. Um, and when I watched your training session back, I was so pleased about kind of the, the confidence that exuded from you, do you know, and that was on a online session using that tech, do you know, and you made it really interactive and they, those elements as your delegate said there, worked really well. Um, your values have been really clear from, from the start. And I think you brought them into your training session um, right from the beginning. And it was values led throughout. So I'm so pleased to award you the Training for Influence accreditation. Well done, Nicola. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Um, I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm a bit emotional. Um, this must be a Nicola thing because I, I've written down um, some words as well. So, <laughs> yeah, definitely must be a Nicola thing. But, um, so I, I just want to say that my tea fry journey has been an absolute pleasure and and a a huge huge privilege as well um i have enjoyed absolutely every minute of the course um and i'm just thrilled to have met all of you lovely people um and everyone on on the t4i community um it is a community like no other that actually that i've come across um you know it, it in any area of life actually um it is truly amazing um what what you've what you've all built um i think as a facilitator i describe myself i'm i'm still a work in progress <laughs> and becky's becky's words saying practice 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 will forever um echo in my mind <laughs> especially you know practice with the tech I need to keep practicing with the tech but I, I'm I have learned so so much um and I'm really really looking forward to continuing my T4I journey and hopefully supporting and collaborating with this wonderful community as much as possible in the future thank you all thank you so much Nicola Uh, Alexandra, I've been looking forward to this. I know that you've been waiting a little while as we've gone for everybody else, but this is hugely deserved. So congratulations. Um, you came on to the t fry course um, after a, a discussion with me. You know, you already work for Tay, you work on the Hestia project, um, and you were telling me about your passion for coaching, you know, and your passion for well-being. Um, and we had a discussion and I uh, talked to you about the course and invited you to take part in it. I didn't I didn't really anticipate um, you putting your heart and soul into it as much as you did. You know, the courses, uh, the course and you have aligned so perfectly as you've gone through week upon week. And it's been so nice to see you in in a different light, you know, because, of course, we we're at work and we're doing our worky things and you don't you're not delivering training and so it's been lovely to see actually how you would develop how would you how you would de um, deliver and also to kind of see that wrap around something that you're so passionate about um you've been great and supportive to all of your other fellow delegates and uh, you know I know you've gone out of your way to ensure that everything is the best that it really could be. And you have, you've really done an outstanding job. So you should be so, so proud of yourself. Um, your feedback was exceptional, you know, really exceptional. 
and I love the fact that you role modelled what you were what you were teaching a little bit like I was just saying about Nicola and the active listening skills you know well done Alexandra you created a really safe and supportive space to discuss this topic your delivery style is very relaxed and welcoming which made for a great session I think this is a really important topic for managers and I wish I'd had a session like this 10 years ago when I was a, ten, a few years ago when I was a manager. Um, and I think that says a lot about the need for your course um, for um, managers and team leaders and supervisors so that they really can look at creating that safe space um, for their team to be able to be valued and grown. So you should be so proud of yourself, Alexandra. I really am very proud of you. And I'm so pleased, <coughs> excuse me, to award you the Training for Influence accreditation. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you all. Uh, oh gosh, I didn't think I'm gonna be emotional, but it's coming to, my emotions coming to the surface as well. Oh gosh, I loved it. I loved the training. And do you know what? When I when I joined the training, I thought I know quite a bit about training. And but I went with open mind because I love learning. And I aligned with your methodology, the the T4I methodology and everything. But as I was going through the training, I realized that there was a missing link in everything I was doing. Maybe not so much in one-on-one -on -one coaching, but in, 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 in any training session that I did in the past. And it was to really trust that people have the answers to, to the topic in themselves. And to also, uh, and, and Becky, thank you. I want to say uh, uh, thank you to uh, Becky Olsen for helping me out with this, to let go of this need to, uh, you know, to, to give as much knowledge, to share the knowledge, because I always feel like, oh, I need to share a lot of knowledge, you know, with people, a lot of theory. Um, and, and through the practice session, through other sessions, I've, I've, and through meeting all of you, people who I feel like you have, you know, everything <laughs> already, uh, I just, it just go back to me to put the person in the center uh, one more time and just to, to trust that, we have the answers in ourselves and the community and Robert would you said I, I I totally agree with with this and others just mentioned that as well did they you guys are wonderful and I feel privileged to be connected with all of you um when I was doing my assessment I finished and I thought like wow I had people who who just like they were engaged they were wonderful that I felt really supported from through throughout the throughout the training on this session before the session and I felt like everyone is just shining uh, and this, and I've learned from you. I've learned about myself. I've learned from other sessions, the bits that I've added into my, into my training. Um, and the values, the golden threads, the way I see it is that, the, the, that we are connected. We have slightly different values, but I think there's something that glues us together. So I want to thank you again for this application process and you doing wonderful work with actually bringing us all together. Because to me, this, this is also very, very, um, uh, very important uh, part of this training to people. And I'm definitely gonna be more active in the community and stay with you and, uh, well, thank you really. <laughs> I could go on and on, I loved it. And I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to be here today, thank you. Uh, fantastic and congratulations again Alexandra that was our last one I was just about to check with you so fantastic <laughs> and since you're talking what I'd really like to do now um so we, we've gone through all of the um all of the delegates all of our wonderful graduates and heard from all of you guys but I just want to take a moment to just pause and thank um, Becky and all of the mentors as well. Yes, um, I have had the great privilege of developing this course. And yes, my name is on the book and I rock up every other week and deliver a session. But do you know what? These are the guys that keep it going. These are the guys that are there at the drop of the hat when you need them. These are the guys who absolutely live and breathe this methodology and have delivered training course after training course after training course into the hundreds 
using this methodology. Um, these are the guys that absolutely are the glue that are holding it all together. And so I want to do two things. Um, I want to thank them from myself and on behalf of all of you guys, although I'm sure you'll do that yourselves as well. And I want to give each of you guys the opportunity to say a few words as well, either about your journey or about your graduates um, or anything that you'd like to add. So Becky, we'll start with you because if, if I haven't put you on the spot enough tonight, I might as well like go all out now. That is what I always thank you for, Tammy, because you like to push me out of my comfort zone. I always moan, but it's always the good thing. So, and I have done, I think that to pretty much everybody on this cohort as well. So I'm role modeling what Tammy does with me <laughs> to everybody else. Um, now, I, I say this every cohort, but it is an absolute privilege to have my role and especially my role as being coordinator, because obviously I have mentored some of you, but I have been pretty much there near enough every week, every session, even for sessions I don't have to be in that. <laughs> I've been there because I have absolutely loved and enjoyed my Thursdays and it is an absolute privilege to be part of everybody's journey. And so I have definitely made so many connections with everybody um, and helped everyone. However, you have all made my job so easy because right from the start, it's been clear to see how values led you are and how brilliant of a cohort you are together. I know there's two of you, two cohorts here, but even in the community, you have been supporting each other, whether you're daytime or evening, and you've made the mentoring really easy because you've been mentioning each other and supporting each other um, and really kind of bringing that community alive it has been lovely um yes I have obviously mentored some of you as well and so um Janine I knew you were you were you going to say so it made me giggle um there has been obviously a few that have been messaging me going I don't know if I can do this nor quite frankly I've been ignoring those messages because I know you can do it all of you have been able to do it um and so, yes, obviously mentoring all of you as well and then supporting the mentors to mentor the others um, has also been an absolute privilege. It's my second cohort as coordinator um, and I've absolutely loved it and I love having that role and getting to know everybody. And as Tamia said, it is not the end. You can carry on pestering me in the community, although not next week because I'm taking a well-earned break and holiday. <laughs> but after that, I will be back in the community and you can carry on messaging me, supporting, network working and collaborating because um, I hope to see all of you in there um, and uh, you know hopefully the ones that didn't come to the face-to-face -face can make me cry face-to-face -face next time as well <laughs> but no maybe at the Christmas meetup Becky Christmas meetup yep yeah, definitely Christmas meetup um, yeah I'm looking forward to arranging that but yeah Christmas meetup again as well and um, so yeah keep right I think we're going to start arranging that quite early on so probably when I come back from holiday um, don't shout at me if I'm talking about Christmas in August, everyone. Just know it needs to be done to get everyone sorted and arranged. But yeah, very much so. But no, thank you so much, everybody. It's been an absolute privilege. And I've really missed my Thursdays. Yeah, yeah. Everybody says that, don't they? You know, we all, we get to this point and we're like, oh, I've missed my Thursdays now. Yeah. yeah, but you do get to go on holiday next week um, and you are going to be the coordinator again in September. So um, you're going to blink and you'll be there again. But honestly, Becky, we couldn't do it without you. We're really pleased that you're involved. Um, so which mentors have we got here with us tonight? We've got the other Becky. So we've been really confused in this cohort. <laughs> and we've got Carol as well. Brilliant. Over to you, Becky. I wasn't expecting this. Okay, uh, it's been great. I've really enjoyed it. I, I mean, I've learned so much again. That's what I've loved coming back and revisiting a couple of years since I've done the course. Um, so it was fantastic to revisit lots of things. I've learned loads from, from you guys as well. And um, just being able to take part in your courses and learning along the way and revisiting. And I've changed things that I'm doing in my delivery on the basis of things that I've experience this time so I do love it also had the extra special um joy of having Lindsay um in my ear 24 7 about it as well so that's been that's been a, an extra layer of, of joy 
<laughs> but I'm super proud of Lindsay for um, doing um, what she did and she just smashed it. But yeah, brilliant courses, everyone. So interesting. So, so such a variety as well, which is what I love. Just so many different topics and it just um, is going to be making our community even richer as you all join it. So thank you so much. Yeah, and that's a really good point, Becky. I, I, you know, that really strikes me. Every single, every single cohort is actually what a privilege it is to learn from the people on the cohort. You know, as they're bringing their takeaways, but also then when you guys deliver your courses, honestly, some of the subjects I've never heard of. It's amazing. It's really, really amazing. Um, so look out for the September cohorts assessments around January time, um, because you'll all be invited to them. Um, so last but not least, the wonderful Carol. Thanks, Tammy. I just want to say I was really good to, to miss the face to face, but I was sunning myself uh, a well earned rest on a nice sunny Greek beach. Um, so I shall hopefully be there next time. It has been a real privilege this time. Um, I've had the pleasure of mentoring Robert, Abby, Wendy and Joe, who all went through that. I can't do it. Help. I'm struggling. I can't do it. I can't keep going. But we managed to keep you going. Um, and also with everybody else on the cohort, just watching everybody just grow in confidence and in stature and hearing those voices, like Tammy said, suddenly we'd hear voices one week that we hadn't heard before. It's just been wonderful. And I know my mentees have messaged me thanking me and I have said to them, it's been a pleasure and I have learned from you and I've learned from everybody else on the cohort as well. It was a pleasure coming on practice sessions and also attending some of your um, assessment sessions as well. And there's lots of things, as Tammy said, that I will take away and use with my team again at work as well. I shall be here again in September and I'm really, really looking forward to it. Thanks to Becky for being there to answer questions when we forget things um, <laughs> and to help us out. And um, long may we continue to do these sessions. They're amazing. Thank you so much, Carol. Um, yeah, we really appreciate you and are hoping that you're um, signing up to mentor in September, but we'll have that discussion separately. <laughs> um, brilliant. Thank you so much, everybody. I'd really love everybody to unmute now and use our voice boxes a little bit because I really want to clap and cheer for you guys um I'll be putting my phone down to do it for a second um but if everybody can just unmute and let's give each of you like a proper rip roaring round of applause because you're all amazing Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> thank you Thank you, everyone. Oh, thank you so thank much. You. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Oh, thank you, you made so it, guys. We made it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Becky. I'm sorry for being your stalker. <laughs> <laughs> She's not sorry. <laughs> Don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We've got another little one joined us as well. Tina, can I just have a little note to your little one? Yeah. Hey, congratulations, everybody. Oh, 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 thank you. Oh, 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 look. Oh, awesome. Oh, guys, please don't be strangers. Please be in contact. Tell us if you need us. If there's anything that we're doing that you need any support with or you want to collaborate or anything, you know, honestly, we don't know what we don't know. So kind of knock on the door, drop us a message, shout about it. Um, yeah, all of you are part of our community. And I'm so, so pleased about that. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, See you everyone. later, guys. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Take care. Well done, guys.